Good morning. Today I'm going to clear some ground and plant a few winter onions. Uh, they will be following the potatoes. There's our senior cat, old Ginger. He's not looking good, but he's still there. He's got a bit of his ear missing, his fur's all matted. And he's, he's in a sorry way, but he's alive. Talking of wildlife, yesterday I saw a, a flock of green parakeets. They're not native to this country. They uh, come from northern India, somewhere up the Himalayas, I think. So they're tolerant of cold climate and they're thriving here. Uh, they're getting increasingly common and they eat fruit which is well they can cause a lot of damage around here so they're not our friends but they're very pretty little birds bright green not that small somewhere between a budrigar and a pigeon I suppose but they're definitely not welcome it isn't raining at the moment but last night it must have rained heavily because look it's filled the bucket and that's all water that fell on my roof last night and also the wheelbarrow is full of water too these are the tools I have brought with me today the spade which I will use to cut in the edges of the bed and the fork with which I shall dig up the weeds and probably harvest a few more potatoes as well. What I'm doing here with the spade is cutting a nice sharp edge to the bed. It helps to uh, keep the weeds out and it's neat and tidy. While I've been digging the edge I found this little batch of eggs. I think they're snail's eggs. Possibly slugs eggs, but I haven't got the heart to do anything about them, so I'll just put a bit of wood back over them. Well, that's that bed cleared now, and I shall come up tomorrow, if the weather's permitting, uh, with a rake and flatten it out and get it ready and plant out some of my onions. Look, apart from all the weeds that I took out of that bed, these are all the stones and pieces of rubbish that I removed as well. I've done my bit for the day and that's me finished. So I'm going to go home. But I shall come back tomorrow if the weather's up to it and break over that patch and plant some of those onions. And I'll show you when I've done it. See you later.